Hello and welcome to Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Utah has become home to many peoples and cultures, all attempting to carve out a place where education, hope, and opportunities can come together and enable them to fulfill their dreams. Today, I'm joined with Jay Brasher and Dr. Sylvia McMillan. They're from American Indian Services. So we're excited to learn about the work that you're doing with Native American youth. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. It's, it's great to be here and be able to take a little bit of time with you to tell you about something that we're very excited about. Maybe I can just give you a, a little bit of an overview of what American Indian Services yes. is. Actually started here on the BYU campus about 50 years ago when Dr. Wilkinson was president. Uh, and it moved off campus during his tenure. Uh, at that time, uh, President Spencer Kimball asked Dale Tingey uh, if he would take the program over and see it through. Now that's about 50 years ago. Dale's 91 today. He's probably down at the office right now <laughs> as, as we speak. Uh, the purpose is to provide educational opportunities for American Indian uh, young people. And uh, typically we've uh, awarded scholarships. We realized a few years ago that uh, not all of the kids were graduating from high school and that the K through 12 needed some attention. So we've mm. directed a lot of our efforts towards that. Uh, but still the main thrust is scholarships. We awarded a little over 3,800 last year. These are partial tuition scholarships. But also last year we were able to bring Dr. McMillan on board who has a vast experience in the K through 12, not just in the US, but in Africa and in India, uh, Central America. And she's uh, dealt with all kinds of situations. So we're thrilled to have her under her direction. We started a new program called AIS Prep. And uh, Sylvia, why don't you tell them a little bit about what you're doing and what AIS Prep is. Okay, thanks. So um, AIS Prep is a six-week summer school STEM program for middle school age kids. And, and having been in education for so long and seeing all the challenges and issues, you really have to start early with kids. And you know, there have been programs that have gradually moved down to younger and younger age children. And mm -hmm. actually we know if they, you know, if they're not reading by right. the time they're coming into uh, kindergarten and first grade, they're already way behind. But for, for the math and sciences, we're starting with sixth grade kids. So it's actually, our program is three years, um, three consecutive years for six weeks at a time. The kids come in and we board them. This summer we started at uh, Utah State University campus in Blanding, brought in 50 kids from, uh, the majority of them from the Navajo Reservation. We had some some kids from Blanding that came into the program, but we house them there for six weeks, and so they have math, engineering, problem solving, logic classes during the day, and then we have a tutorial time for them where they work with tutors to do their homework for the day, and then the evening we have an evening activities program. Typically this program, done elsewhere throughout the country, is just a day program where kids mm -hmm. come in and they go home at night and do their homework at night. But because our kids are coming from as far away as 150 miles, we've had to house them on campus. Wow. So it's, it's a uh, much larger expense for us and a great yes. deal more effort, but it's been fabulous for us to have the kids there for six weeks doing the program. And then um, they come back again next summer for advanced classes and the summer after that. This program was originated in San Antonio, Texas called San Antonio mm -hmm. Prep. And it's been around for about 30 years. Wow. And so we, were, we feel really lucky to have found this curriculum and adopted the curriculum for our students here. But the statistics are just amazing for the program. 90% of the students who graduate from the three-year program graduate from college. That's incredible. Not just high school, <laughs> wow. but they graduate from college. And that's what we're looking for for our students. And we have just completed yes. that. We had graduation last Friday. Oh, exciting. And, uh, you know, our students did fabulous. I, I'm just so 
impressed with the amount of effort they put into it, the hard work, giving up six weeks of their summer to come and do to come math. To school, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like yeah. they're, you know, camp where they're out riding horses and fishing or anything like that, but they were in the classroom every day doing math and science and just but did like a fabulous job. like you say, job. what a great impact that intensive program will make for them. And it's exciting what you're doing. Remind us of your website. Uh, AmericanIndianServices.org. Okay, people can go there and donate and they Learn can, more. and we have a Excellent. Facebook page for American Indian Services as well as AIS Prep, which shows what our kids did over the summer and the fun, the fun things that they learned. Thank you both for being with us and sharing about American Indian Services and the great work you're doing. Thank you for the opportunity. If you'd like more information on American Indian Services as well as organizations you see here on Community Connection, we invite you to visit our webpage at kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Community Connection.